MyScrapbookEvolution.com and today I'm sharing a peek into one of my albums. Before I do that, I do want to let you know it's a little cramped. I'm doing the best that I can with my video setup. But if you've ever looked on my website and taken a look at my creative space and where my camera is, it's on a desk in a closet. So the space is very limited and it's very hard to open the full 12 by 12 album out for you to see. So hopefully I'm going to be able to show you without flipping things around too much. Essentially what I do is I mix my Project Life pages or my pocket pages in with my 12 by 12 layouts. When I work on these pages, I, I don't worry about the dates. I want everything that goes together in one month to stay together. But I don't worry about whether something happened on January the 12th and whether something else happened on January the 15th. I want the freedom to be able to move those photos around in the pockets and add filler cards where necessary. I don't want to be limited by the dates and you'll see as I work how this makes it an easier way to do project life. You'll also notice a few blank spots as we come to them in the album. I jump around when I scrapbook and when I do my pocket pages. That's just how I work. I find that I'm more inspired and I create more pages. So here we go. I do want to make note that all of the pocket pages are hybrid. This year I am on the Tracy Reed design team and I am working with her kits. Some of them are her regular scrapbook kits. Some of them come from her pocket life collection. So this is my introduction to the year. This is my first album starting in January of 2015 and I've made a cover page and I just kind of wanted you know the dream big theme for the year welcome 2015 and I've included a variety of quotes for this year and my one little word then I come to my January page here I've always got an introduction to the month so here you'll see the month and then sometimes the date I find that with fireworks photos, I like them in the pocket pages because I take a ton of fireworks photos and I'm able to collage them and showcase more of them than if I do a standard layout. So here we have the beginning of some of my 12 by 12 layouts for January. And these are a lot of layouts of my cat. I do a lot of layouts of all of my cats. As we move in, you'll see there's a 12 by 12 page here see if I can flip that a little better so you can see it. So I wanted to talk about our neighborhood and these are just some pictures of my son and I walking through our neighborhood. There were a lot of photos and I couldn't quite fit them all onto one layout. I could have done a two page layout but doing the pocket page allows me to continue on here and then add the rest of my pockets cards for January. And what I've done here is I've just collaged some of the different photos from around the neighborhood. I love using these collage templates from Tracy Reed. They're life unscripted. She has them for 3x4 and she has them for 4x6. I add in a few digital elements. I print off some of the digital elements and I add them as embellishments. And I'm just ready to work. Sometimes I handwrite on the card and sometimes I type in the card. What determines which I prefer to do is how much I have to say. Obviously the typewritten cards can hold a lot more text than the handwritten cards, especially since my handwriting is very messy. I do think it's very important to include your own handwriting though, so I just mix back and forth and sometimes I use the journal strips. So again, this is just around our neighborhood, but I can finish off with this pocket page of random things left over from the month that I don't have room for either on a 12 by 12 layout, if I don't want to do one, 
or for pocket cards. I don't like to use too many filler cards. I think it just wastes space. The whole idea for me of doing pocket pages is to save space. I will use filler cards, but if I can avoid it, I don't always do it. So in this case, I've got random things. I've got my first currently list card. I'm doing these with areyoukristin.com, and you basically do a currently card every Tuesday, and it lists your TV shows, things you're reading, music you're listening to, things you're doing, how you're feeling, things you're planning on, that sort of thing. And I love these because I can just slip them into the book. I've just got some more random nature photos. These are the video games we were playing this month, and just a random cat photo. So I'm continuing on, and there's more January pages here. More 12 by 12 pages, again, more cats, and I've got a blank spot here. If I have another layout that can fit here, I'll just pop that right in. If not, I'll make some kind of like art journal type of filler page to go in here later. But I like the flexibility of moving and jumping around. So February is another month that I finished in Project Life. And you saw I had a lot of pocket pages for January. We had a lot more going on. But for February, I literally have this page and this. That's it. Two spreads. Not a big deal. I've got my usual nature photos, cat photos. I talked a little bit about our grocery store trips and how things had changed with a new tax that went into place. Again, I've got the introduction to the month. You can see I do have a few filler cards because I didn't have photos to go there. But the majority of my pockets are filled with photos, photo collages, and journaling. So again, on this side, I've got my four currently cards for the month. I talked about video games we were playing. I talked a little bit about Valentine's Day. And I talked about our weather. I like to include a little bit of something that's going on with the weather. So moving on from February, we're continuing on with more 12 by 12 layouts. And I actually did end up making a full page for Valentine's Day, which is right here. I kind of think of my pocket pages as an introduction to the month, and they're what divides each month from one another. So I keep going on with my 12 by 12 pages, and again, a blank spot. I might have another layout from February to go there. I might make an art journal type page. This particular pocket page is all about our weekend. I wanted to document about our weekend. So again, I went online and I found some covers for the video games. You could do that for books or movies if you wanted to. And I made the collage and I've typed in there. I hand wrote a little bit about our weekend here. Usually in Project Life is where I include food shots. I don't typically do entire layouts about the things that we ate, but I like to document special trips out to the restaurant or places we go to frequently. And my pocket pages are a great place to do that in. And this particular side is actually an entire weekend, different than the one before it. This is one we went 32 hours without electricity. And instead of doing a full layout, I did it sort of as a timeline. And pocket pages work very well in regards to making a timeline. So I was able to fit an entire weekend onto one page. I use pocket pages to save space. I have so many albums. I've started limiting myself to trying to do just pocket pages and single 12 by 12 layouts. Otherwise, if I continue doing a ton of two page layouts, I am going to have about 40 albums or so. I've probably got about 20 right now. So these are for March. I haven't done the title page for March yet. It's coming. I just I jump around a lot. So that's how I, I like to work. I said I was more inspired that way. I haven't done, or I, at least I haven't filed away the April page. And I've got May here. And again, you can see I've started May. I did the first page. I've got my title block for the month. I have a few of the main events that we did, a couple of filler pockets, and the back is blank. So as I work on the rest of May, if I don't need these, I can pull them out and move them around. I have the freedom of doing whatever I need to fit all of my photos into the album. And that's where working 
by the month but not forcing myself to do it by the week or by a date gives me the freedom to just scrapbook the way that I want to. And I'm not then filling my album with too many things. Again, I love these filler cards, but I don't want to have to spread out my pages so much to accommodate all the different weeks and in the right order that I've got entire spreads that have almost all filler cards. It just doesn't make sense to me. So this is my album keeping in a nutshell. If you have any questions, you can direct them to me at myscrapbookevolution.com. And please take time to go over to the Digi Scrap Geek podcast and check out our latest episodes.